Good morning. Good morning, everyone. This is Alex. Welcome back to our channel here at EO's Marketplace News. Guys, 23 days to go and it's Christmas. Okay, it's the holiday season and I'm sure you are um, feeling the, um, the holiday spirit, the holiday vibe, right? So it's been a great day. It started it started great so I hope that you're feeling the same way as I do okay so guys for today I really have an interesting topic for everyone okay so <clears throat> maybe you you have read some tweets about it because this two okay this two topics right now that I will be bringing with you is um, the most yeah they are one of the most um, trending topic and as well as um, very popular topic in the crypto world. So are you ready? Are you excited? Maybe you're wondering right now, what is she talking about? I'm really eager to know or I'm really excited to know. Right, so I'm excited as well to give you the full details. So let's go. First, first off here, did we just see the biggest volume spike in the history of Bitcoin? All right. A recent series of tweets claim that in the last few days, we have seen the largest spike in trading volume in the history of Bitcoin. This could lead to some serious changes in the market, though it's still unclear which way it could go. So Crypto Quantum Mandel tweeted, We've just seen the biggest volume spike in the history of Bitcoin and hashtag crypto. Capital, um, capitalization um, November 2015 to November 25 started the massive volume spike and now this recovery November 26 to November 28 is the highest ever. Is this the capital um, capitalization and dollar sign BTC volume breakout we've been looking for? Okay. So here, as we can see, 245 people are talking about this. So the thread was posted on Twitter by user CryptoQuantamental or at CryptoQF, who claims to be an investment portfolio manager. According to the tweets, most cryptocurrency analysis analyst rather, cryptocurrency analysts have been calculating trading volume incorrectly by looking at the overall value of the trades as opposed to the total quantity. So as yes, crypto quant quantum mantle again tweeted, he replied, okay, to his tweet, suppose I bought a Bitcoin at um, $2,000. The volume is one and the value is $2,000. Suppose then I flip the um, BTC at $20,000 dollars the volume is still one as only one bitcoin switch hands but the value is twenty thousand dollars i sold the only bitcoin that i owned why is that important wow twenty thousand dollars now crypto quantum mental with the um with the btc price now at four thousand that means five bitcoins must be sold in order to have the exact same traded value as one sold at twenty thousand dollars since i only had one btc in my example that means more people must buy or sell at four thousand dollars than at twenty thousand dollars in order to get equal volume right so crypto quantum metal suggests using the number of btc traded as the best indicator for bitcoin trading volume as this doesn't rely on what the BTC price is at a particular moment in time. It is claimed that the total volume of trades measured in BTC gives a clearer picture of the general market sentiment. So again, I'm replying crypto quantum mental. Since we are trying to measure sentiment or behavior, volume is far superior. More people selling or buying determined by a volume. More Bitcoins is much a stronger indicator than few people selling small amount of Bitcoin at $20,000. So RT this thread if you find it helpful. Right. 
and this one. Here is a smoother line showing the volume spike through this entire event. This is the 14 day moving volume average. You can clearly see the December 2017 euphoria and the November 2018 capitulation. Right, look. Oh, it's really rising up. So if we take the measure of volume that is issued by Crypto Quantum Mental, it appears that the last week or so has seen the largest spike in Bitcoin trading volume since the crypto was first launched. The user doesn't give any specific predictions as to what will happen to the BTC price, but in general, a higher trading volume means less volatility. So whether an analysis of the current pot pattern indicates an uptrend or downtrend, this is likely to continue for a um, foreseeable future. Wow. So um, someone replied to Crypto Quantum Mental. Um, are they all going to rush back in? And he here, Crypto Quantum Mental again tweeted, It's what's happening. See my thread on volume? This recovery has seen the highest amount of BTC trading hands than ever before. Oh, that's a bit interesting, right? So, guys, um, the second news for today, um, here, let's see. It's a bit, um, like, connected, right? Um, it's related to it. So, here, this is brought to us now by PCN, a preferred currency news. Report. Bitcoin mining doesn't fuel climate change. It benefits the global economy. All right. So the majority of Bitcoin miners, about 78%, use renewable energy to power their mining operations while preventing surplus electricity from going to waste in countries such as China. A new study by CoinShares has revealed the UK-based digital asset management company argues that Bitcoin mining may in fact be acting as an electricity buyer of last resort, contrary to the mainstream media construct of it being an environmental menace. So buyer, buyer of last resort. In its report, the Bitcoin Mining Network, CoinShare said that the multi-billion dollar cryptocurrency mining industry is using a lot of excess clean power in China, where the government has poured billions of dollars into the development of solar, wind, and hydroelectric power plants. China accounts for 60% of global Bitcoin mining. Renewables also dominate in mines throughout the Pacific Northwest in U.S. states such as Washington and Oregon, as well as the Canadian province of British Columbia. And there are many miners using renewable energy in Scandinavia, a region that extracts about 35% of the global Bitcoin total. Ooh. But China's large-scale investments in the energy sector have strained electricity networks, leading grid operators to refuse to accept significant amounts of surplus renewable energy capacity. Um, in a practice known as curtailment, coin shares found that many Chinese miners are actually using curtail, um, excess electricity to power their activities rather than letting the electricity go to waste. Based on historical data on energy mix and locations of cryptocurrency mining operations in China, we have shown that contrary to the common narrative, the vast majority of global Bitcoin mining capacity is running on renewable energy, wrote Christopher Ben Dixon, Samuel Gibbons, and Eugene Lim of CoinShares in the report. So here, Chinese wind quartelment by province. So from 2011 to 2015, right? Okay, so the study noted high levels of renewables penetration in parts of the world that are home to mining companies, as high as 90% in mining hotbeds like China's Sichuan province. The researchers argue that Bitcoin mining is helping to prevent energy from going to waste. So the authors detailed, 
if demand for Bitcoin mining keeps increasing, its demand alone could facilitate opportunities for tapping highly productive renewables location in areas that today would be uneconomically remote. False narrative. The findings challenge the common line in the mainstream media that Bitcoin mining consumes a lot of coal-generated electricity, a narrative followed by some academics. In a recent study, for example, researchers at the University of Hawaii at Manoa examined how the rapid increase in the use of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin would impact the environment. They came to the conclusion that within two decades, Bitcoin, um, Bitcoin mining, yes, Bitcoin mining could contribute to global warming on a similar level to the energy transport industries. Ooh. So here. <clears throat> so um, guys, the researchers compiled data on use of 40 different technologies, ranging from dishwashers and ebooks to electric power and the internet. They use this information to estimate the rate of uptake this cryptocurrency will see in the coming years. But mining is a computationally demanding process using expensive equipment. So it's not always easy to come up with accurate and reliable estimates of Bitcoin's true carbon footprint. And it does not help that the researchers in Hawaii compare the environmental impact of household appliances like dishwashers to Bitcoin. A more realistic approach would have also analyzed electricity use in the banking industry. Right. So guys, 78% of the miners use renewable energy. According to the CoinShares report, an estimated 76, uh, I mean 77.6% of cryptocurrencies miners throughout the world use renewable energy such as hydropower, making it greener than almost every other large-scale industry in the world. Miners are also aware of the importance of energy conservation, with the researchers noting that cooler temperatures in northern China, another key mining hub in the country, reduce the need for cooling systems for the mining hardware. Wow, it's really a big, um, it's really a big help. So, all right. Now, guys, if you wish to become um, one of our subscribers to, so that you can get the latest EOS, Bitcoin, and cryptocurrency news, a great place to research undervalued cryptocurrency is Preferred Currency News. Okay, that's preferredcurrency.news. So go to preferredcurrency.news so that you will become one of our web subscribers. You can get the latest EOS, Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, and the updates, right? Now, you can hear. Okay, so for more information and details also you can join we have a free public telegram group i will be posting um the link later on okay you can join us so that we can discuss about eos bitcoin and crypto news and the trends right so guys here this is preferredcurrency.news you can contact directly the man behind preferred currency news his name is donald lewis maybe you have questions or concerns or some queries about it so um again his name is donald lewis he, you can call his number at 1-801-601-8105 whatsapp at 1-801-471-6939 skype id donald.fcda for Twitter subscribers, you can follow him at Preferred Crypto. He also posts some updates and trends. So you can, yes, you can join our Telegram channel, which is PreferredCrypto.News. That was the one I was talking about earlier so that we can discuss, you know, a lot of news and trends. So you can also send a um, private message to Donald Lewis on Telegram. His ID is at Preferred Crypto. All right, so guys, let me give you a glimpse of our newsletter. So here, 
this is the newsletter that we will be sending to our subscribers and to our you know future subscribers we will send it via email okay we will be sending it via email and that's 12 hours before we post videos here on YouTube all right now one best thing that I um, I can share to you about the newsletter is the Donald's research list here let me show you just open spreadsheet okay here Donald's research list this one so guys this is the Donald's research list okay Donald's research list cannot be found anywhere else on the internet but only here at preferred currency news all right now um, when you subscribe to preferred currency news you can have you can also have a copy of the Donald's research list so this sheet um, gives all right gives updates what is the status of tokens of your favorite tokens and coins now for example since we talked about Bitcoin now let's see okay I'm sorry there <laughs> okay so let us see what is uh, the recent price or the status of Bitcoin as of December 2 2018 now Bitcoin um, it's four thousand two hundred four point three four seven three five nine three one share of total market volume it's zero point three five nine eight four three nine one Google searches compared to the past seven days, it's 35%. Um, crossing down 50 for 50 candle SMA movement. Number of positive technical indicators for 24 hours volume versus price, zero. Seven days volume versus price, it's 0 0.76. And 30 days volume versus price, it's 1.45. And percent issued, it's 82.87%. Wow right now guys um, if you if you're asking why are there colors like tan orange green yellow right okay here when you when you see a red color it means negative news orange and tan are neutral yellow are fair green have good news blue are showing the best news so as you can see Bitcoin is color blue so it's really showing the best news and now maybe you're wondering where is my favorite token or coin so um guys instead of scrolling up and down you can just simply click Control f and then for example let's say dav there so what is dav's status as of Nove um, december 2 so dav oh it's also colored blue yeah, is blue? Yes, blue. So recent price, it's 0 0.00341942. Share of total market volume, it's 0 0.00000248. 0 percent for Google searches compared to the past seven days. It's also crossing down 50 like Bitcoin. Number of positive technical indicators for 24 hours volume versus price, seven days volume versus price, and 30 days volume versus price. They're all zero. And percent issued, it's 32.94%. All right. So guys, there you go. There you have it. That easy, um, that easy to understand, that convenient, right? So what are you waiting for? Grab this offer now. I know you're wondering how or you're thinking how, right? So here, mm, let's go back to here guys you can subscribe you can use your PayPal for monthly recurring that's only $15 per month fiat and you can use also coinbase option for $180 per year okay $180 subscription to be paid with your favorite crypto so either of that you can choose so what are you waiting for you can have um, you can have the update the article the news of the day the most trending the most popular topics you can have the Donald's research list since it cannot be found out anywhere else on the internet and you can join us in our free 
public telegram group so that we can discuss a lot of things and have fun right so grab this offer now um again this is preferred currency dot news all right so guys very easy okay now hmm Oh, by the way, I will be posting the links and their information on the um, description box below so that you can check it out, all right? So, guys, this has been Alex. That's all for today, and I hope you enjoyed our video. Um, please uh, subscribe now, okay? Now, thank you so much for joining me in this video. Have a great night. Bye.